Hi there, this is Josh with Green Mountain Grills and today I'm going to talk to you about the safety and maintenance on your Green Mountain Grill. So one of the first things you want to make sure of is that the unit is at least three feet away from a building. Uh, you are dealing with a live fire, so safety is uh, utmost importance. Um, and another thing you want to do is make sure it's not near any combustibles and also that it's not exposed to any rain. You do have electronics in the grill, so they can get damaged if it's exposed for too long. So another thing that's important to the safety of the grill is, is grease management. Uh, grease is prevalent in any barbecue pellet grill. As far as safety goes, you're going to want to make sure you don't have a lot of buildup on the grease tray or in the grease trough, sides and all that. With the grease tray, you're going to want to make sure this thing is set up properly. The grease tray has a circle hole cut out on one end and a half moon cut on the other side. You're going to want to make sure when you set this in here, you got the circle hole cut out going to the left end. There's a little ledge right here near the thermal sensor. You're going to set that circle hole onto that ledge, center it with the thermal sensor and pull it away from the thermal sensor so the metal isn't near that. And the other end, the half moon cutout end will be sloping into the grease trough. So a lot of people like to use foil. However, when you do put the foil on the tray, you're going to want to make sure that you're not covering that circle hole cutout and you don't have multiple layers of foil. If you cover that circle hole cutout, it can affect the airflow in the grill and throw the temperatures off. Um, and also you want to make sure it's not building up with a lot of grease because it can lead, unfortunately, to a fire. This is something that can happen at any grill. If you don't clean off the grease tray, if you have buildup in the grease trough, if you cook over a certain temperature, it, it could become an issue. So the next thing I want to talk about is the airflow in your grill. It's crucial to have the parts installed properly so that the heat is distributed equally or properly in the grill. So first thing you want to make sure of is the grease tray. This is very important that you have the circle hole cut out sitting up on this lip that sits next to the thermal sensor. We have our heat shield in here with the adjustable rod where you can slide it you know, left and right in the grill. And the one thing you want to make sure of is you want to first start off by measuring the distance between the heat shield's left side to the left inside wall right here. That should be about four and a quarter inches. So you have the heat shield adjustment rod right here that can move left and right. Now you don't want to move this too drastically. This should only be moved in quarter inch increments left or right depending on where the hot spot is in your grill. If your hotter spot's on the right side of the grill, you'll want to move the heat shield adjustment rod just a quarter inch to the right. If it's hotter on the left side, you'll want to push it you know, just a quarter inch to inward to the left. So another key part of airflow is to make sure the fire pot's clean. If it's too full, it, can, it won't get good airflow to the fire and can lead to heating issues. So. We recommend about every two to three bags to clean out that fire pot just because if it's too full it can affect airflow and you can just lead to issues down the road so you want to make sure that's clean. One of the nice key features on these Green Mountain Grills is we have an ash fact door that makes cleaning out the fire pot easy without having to take everything out of the grill. This little door opens up right here and all you need is a shop vac to stick on the end and it'll suck all the ash out of the fire pot for you without having to take the heat shield and grease tray out of the unit. Another important thing is pellet quality. If the pellets have been left in the hopper for you know, 30, 60 days, they could break down and that could affect how the grill operates. Um, so if you go through a component check, you start the grill up and you watch it feed pellets into the fire pot, if you notice that they're crumpled up and sawdusty, that's a sign that they may not burn well and you could have issues. What we recommend doing at that point is clean out the entire hopper, vacuuming it out if you've got a lot of dust down there and fill it up with fresh pellets. And then you'll want to run the grill and just see and make sure that you're getting fresh pellets coming into the fire pot to ensure that the grill is heating up and working properly. So over time, the thermal sensor can build up with gunk. It sits here out of the left inside wall. What you'll want to do is just use a Scotch-Brite or you know, something similar that can just clean it off. You can use some simple green and make it back to that nice bronze color there. That will ensure that it's you know, clean and working properly for you. So all these things are important, but another thing I like to point out is you'll want to make sure you use food grade pellets. The reason being is that we know it comes from a natural source. You're not going to have th these extra additives that you don't want to you know, consume. So food grade pellets are the way you'll want to go every time. So that wraps up the safety maintenance for a Green Mountain Grill. If you want to learn some other tips and tricks, go ahead and check out our website, greenmountaingrills.com. Go to the video section.